Non-emergency. Life pods disabled. Oh, I suppose that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Have you ever wanted to go to space under duress? I crash this thing if you keep that up. Oh no! Ever wanted a woman to talk down to you more than they already do? Welcome to my death machine. Do you want to flex your degrees in IT or women's studies? Want to live in your workplace designed specifically to instill anxiety and stress? Maybe you should try System Shock, yet another remake this year that managed to not suck ass. After making a few calls to some mutual friends, we've decided that Cyberpunk Edgerunners was really cool, and so to get some chicks we'll need a Tri-Optimum brand military grade implant. Unfortunately, right at the end, I remember that Trioptimum has a Chinese branch, and I would have been better off using the Jingguan software instead. Now, fuck you. Oh! Instead of taking a quick trip to Xinjiang, however, it's off to space to commit a crime only slightly less severe than piracy. Corporate espionage. Ethical constraints? I turn that off. The only ethics I want to hear about are the ones at my trial. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, you know, the usual. The fact that I'm even playing this is kind of surreal. I was under the impression this was in development hell, and then suddenly it was here. Coming off of System Shock 2, you should realize that this game isn't really an RPG. The weapons and implants are all you'll be collecting, really. The pipe. A simple weapon for a simple man. I prefer the wrench, though. Blunt industrial instruments are the bane of villainy everywhere. Other weapons include stuff like the micro pistol. Basically, imagine if God saw that you didn't have a gun and decided to make you one out of pity. It's a gun. And that's about it. Be thankful it's not the dart gun from the original. Or even better, try out this fancy spark gun. It draws from your energy pool instead of ammo, and energy is basically just your mana, except instead of chugging potions, you munch on some double A's. I prefer the Energizer brand, they're more tangy. That spark gun has three settings. Piss baby mode, potential homicide mode, and the die very rough mode. But who needs to die very rough? There's a whole lot of nasty fellas chilling out in this cool space station. They range from gross-ass monsters, experiments gone wrong, and goddamn robots, the tin savages. AI-generated content has gone too far. It's all thanks to that jerk Shodan. I guess turning off her cringe inhibitors was a step too far, and now we're really in trouble. And, since everyone else on the station is infected with corporate incompetence, it's up to us to save humanity from the consequences of my own actions. Was it worth it? Probably. Will I own up to my own failings? Never. Thankfully, all the problems Shodan created have the common weakness of bullets. Very convenient. What the hell is the? What is that? Fucking tiger gorillas? Shodan's big plan is tiger gorillas? Ah, but that's not all. I hope you like robots and lots of them. Fucking invisible COVID monsters. Cyborgs. Cliff racers. Whatever that was. At times, you might find yourself saying stuff like, Man, this room just feels like it was designed to kill me. And you know what? You're absolutely right. Nice Shodan really is just trying to kill you like the spiteful bitch that she is. Don't take it too personal. Pro tip! Abuse the spark gun as much as possible, because its ammo is basically infinite if you hit up some charging stations. Not that you need to worry too much. This game is difficult enough, but it won't annihilate you unless you're running the highest difficulties. Which you shouldn't, unless you're a badass like me. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Social distancing. Social distance from the COVID! Now, I know I said this game was an FPS, but you still need to pay attention to the stuff you're using, especially the damage and armor penetration values. Use your head, Goofy. If they're obviously made of metal, you want to use the stuff that smashes through it better. Oh. It's throwing radioactive shit at me. Of course, because the game is older than most of the people using the shitty site, it's extremely maze-like. Something that will probably throw people off even if they have a good sense of direction. Add to that the lack of mission pop-ups or any objective log, and you might think that you'll get lost. And you very well might, but that's okay. The game isn't so big that you'll be wandering halls blind. Instead, you should use it as an opportunity to explore the levels of the station. Maybe find some extra items to make things easier. And you're gonna want it to be easier, because Shodan isn't pulling her punches. This. Oh yeah. I could do some damage with this. 
You know, I was shocked to see the game's size clock in only like 5 gigabytes, which is crazy, given that most games can't help but run into the triple digits so they care for space. Part of that, though, can be true to the graphics, having a very obvious gamey feel to them by design. Textures and graphics look really nice and faithful to the original while still actually looking good. It also means that there are no loading screens in the game. Hooray for immersion or something. Pro tip! Many of the cyborgs at the station are running hardline as their blue perk, which means most of them have already gotten their RCXD killstreaks. Watch out for them because explosions hurt a lot. You know, I was under the impression that Shodan would show up more in the game, especially compared to System Shock 2. And yet, that's not really the case. She's around. I mean, come on, she's basically the station itself, and yet she doesn't seem like she's taunted me enough. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty repulsive. Even that AI girlfriend app was like, we should see other people. But I expected a little bit more. I just get so excited when she calls me insect. Could you imagine a woman paying attention to you? Actually, no, hang, hang on a sec. Hang on. Hang on, let me, let me just... You've destroyed all the eggs. <laughs> now, get to the bridge. Here are some more upgrade modules. <laughs> I enjoy watching your uh, yeah, that's, that's fair. <laughs> that, that, that is, that's, that's fair. <laughs> Something that really needed changing, though, was the cyberspace stuff. And can you believe it? It's actually playable. It's not crazy, just a bit of 3D bullet hell stuff, but it's a lot more readable than it used to be. It's nice to see something that was implemented poorly get an actual do-over. Don't spin around too much, though. You don't want to vomit on the station. It already smells bad enough. Alright, no, yeah, no, I, I like what you did to the place, Shodan. Really brings out the pizzazz. The story is unchanged, which I don't even know why you would think to change it, but whatever. Gotta stop Shodan, which you would think isn't that complicated, but no. They put a giant laser on the station for mining, even though there's fucking nothing to mine. Probably a budget thing, had to spend extra on a death laser, or else we won't get the same amount of money next quarter. Anyways, she's gonna wipe out humanity with it. While I was tempted to let her destroy a few major population centers, I decided my karma had shifted a bit too far down the evil path, and my odds of being reincarnated in Isekai Fantasy World was dropping fast. So I just decided to save everyone this time. God damn it, Lee, let me push your goddamn buttons. You think she'd be into that? Eventually, I do end up turning the laser off, though it does make me sad that I couldn't use it for some nefarious deeds. Nah, eh, well. Guess there's always next time. I got a call from some survivors who want me to help them. I better not mention that I'm responsible for their impending demise, and that's before I even get them in my sights. If they think I'm letting them live after seeing my gamer face, then they got another thing coming. Oh, screw you, Shodan. These puzzles are annoying in a good way. They're meant to be actually difficult and time-consuming, hence why there's a separate difficulty option for puzzles. At the highest difficulty setting for the mission, you're on a time limit, hence why there's areas or obstacles meant to slow you down like this. It's the kind of design you don't see much at all, and the fact that Looking Glass pulled off in the early 90s is incredible. Oh god, I'm too fucking lazy to do this one. Well, sorry guys, but I gotta go find something to brute force this. If you're dead when I come back, you can email me your complaints from hell. You know, for a game that's trying to look old, it's still crazy atmosphere. The light is carrying a lot of it. A real miracle given that this is running on Unreal. Could it be that even shitty engines like Unreal could be used to make good games if you're a competent developer? Nope, I'm just imagining things. Alright, so I did find a logic pro to brute force the panel. If you're all dead, it's your own fault. <gasps> pro tip, run away in circles and you might not die! Uh, sorry guys, I kind of annihilated your remains during that self-defense situation. Wait, what am I doing? Shodan's gonna anthrax attack the Earth. I'm wasting my goddamn time. Yes, this music plays every time. Oh god, she's filled the place with demons. But, uh, where's the anthrax? This just feels like your average park in Australia, minus the right to self-defense. I went and got this Enviro pack for nothing. There's only one grove left in. <gasps> Alright, gotta go fast!
Now I could just hit the button and send this thing on its way to the sequel, right? No, of course not. There's like five other inconveniences I need to sort out before I could do that. Citadel Station, come for the implants, stay cause you have to. Hey, it's that Diego guy. I forgot to say thanks for the implant. Nah, pussy ran away. A corporate moment, perhaps. Oh, you better believe that I need to jump through more hoops after this. Now Shona is going to upload herself to the internet, which, in all honesty, isn't going to do much. What is she going to do? Influence a Reddit post about her? Make a takedown video about why being human is problematic? I'm shaking in my boots. But if it pisses her off, then I don't see why I can't destroy these antenna. Uh-oh. Aside from the labyrinthian layout of engineering, that was pretty easy. Screw you, Shona, and I win. That is, until this suit calls me up and says I have to blow up the station. Lady, I'm still on it! And the code I put in for the escape pod was the simplest one I could think of. Wait, the code is fucking 001? You mean if I dumbed myself down even more, I could have been out of here 10 hours ago? God damn it! So damn so we go ahead, and she can do the same for you. If only you would open your heart. After a face full of delicious radiation in the reactor, I set that shit to blow with the codes you get from destroying the CPU node root. Yes, I had to backtrack to get the codes because I forgot I needed to write them down. Don't bully me. Now we're all at mortal peril. Huh. Now I was going to say this was too easy again, but I think I'm actually going to- Ah, me and my big mouth. You know, I'm starting to think getting chicks with a sand devastan wasn't worth it, seeing as I'm going to die soon. That just gives me an excuse to go off the deep end though, doesn't it? Shodan's core is located on the bridge, so I think it's time I pay her a visit. No more hacking, no more clever plans, none of that. Her and her little simping hobgoblin cyborgs are about to learn why being human is awesome. We're good at tearing shit up. It works. It really works! Just you and me, Shodan. Come here. Oh wow, uh... Honestly? Nice place he got here. Shame I gotta smash it up. Aw, oh, jeez, that was a little trippy. But hey, I'm not dead. I think. Yeah, I win, and with this, Shodan is defeated forever, and nothing bad happens in the distant future that could change that. Yeah, I'm kind of a badass, but I don't think I'll be getting that job. The game clocked in at just over 19 hours. Impressive, to say the least. A lot of pain and horror, though. I don't think I'd ever want to subject myself to that again. Even for the bragging rights. Unless chicks are into that. They're not, right? Right? Uh... Better not take any chances. Old habits die hard. What a sorry state we're in. <laughs> <laughs>